Okay, let's play this Pierce to Fathom. Let's play episode playtime two hours. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fierce to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with lots of financial help from my dad. How much financial help? An RV? And your salary allowed you to make ends meet? You couldn't afford any of this shit, but you could get an RV. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Oh God, yes, driving. It's a 40. Oh, baby. Uh, I'm driving. Kayla, I'm driving. Kayla. Okay, hold on. Mitch, got it. Thanks. You probably see Billy at the gate. Show him your ID. How's it looking? Still on my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? I don't know. Did that sign say Roseburg? Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on a Friday. Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. And from there, you'll be on foot. You'll be on foot. Take the Gold Tree Creek Trail. From there, it'll take you a couple hours till you reach your tower. Okay, got it. Thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Show him your ID. Fucking Billy. I can't believe this game wants me to fucking read messages while I'm driving. This, this is the RV, I'm assuming. Damn, look at this fucking thing. You know what? Maybe, maybe we should get an RV. I always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. It's just, you know, just the way Jesus intended, right? It felt like, I felt like I was at home in the woods. Okay, this is starting to sound like Sons of the Forest. Kayla, can you? I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Can you crash? I don't know. We could try. Here, let's try. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wasn't very proud of my driving. Why did I scare myself? I Like, what did I expect to have? All right. Society. We've got some civilization. That says Roseburg, I think. Yes, Roseburg. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. All right, let's pull in, bud. I'm walking lonely, got no homies, feeling like a ghost. She don't feel me anymore, she says I'm never home. I got no lights on, I'm stumped in my chair again. She never come home, she never will feel me I kind of want to just listen to the song. This actually looks kind of cozy. I like it. Oh, this is, oh, God. Okay, these dishes look clean, I think, maybe. Is that a bottle of beer? All right, let's get out, bud. Let's go check out this diner. This is a good parking spot, eh? I think some people can squeeze through here, no? Sit. Can I climb this ladder? No, that would have been cool, though. <laughs> I thought this was a skeleton. What are, what are you doing? Oh! Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right. Thank you. Chai, yeah, I'm going to sit with him. That's a, good, that's a good good. That's a good call, Dean Anson. It fucking won't let me. You know what? Let's... I, I like to have my eye on... Uh, yeah, can I sit here? I want to be able to see most of the restaurant. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm 
I'm eagerly awaiting. I'm starving. What do you got there? Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Absolutely. So what can I get for you? Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Oh, they, these are so... Why do all of these... It's because I'm starving. These sound so good. A meatball sub with chicken nuggets. You know what? Fuck yeah, that's what I'm doing. Give me a Coke. Absolutely. Fuck off with the Pepsi. Anything else? Uh, no. Err, wait. I want more stuff. No, that'll be all. Great, I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Will do. Or no, you know what? Sounds good. I appreciate it. Thanks, Barb. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Absolutely, yeah. Let's go take a leak, bud. I'm with you. You want to eat comfortably. Let me lock this up. No, no, no. I, I, I'm looking for a lock. Okay. Oh, God! The aim! I gotta aim! I gotta aim! Okay, there we go. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay. I thought the stream was gonna just kind of, here, they're gonna pee again. I was done with it. Okay, did you shake it? All right, little wash. Ah, oh, no reflection. All right, let's go. Okay. Now, you know what? Could we be the, should we be the worst customer ever and sit in a different spot? She's probably got the table already rung in on this one. I want to sit with this guy. What? Why do you have a... I didn't even notice what this man had. He's got a shovel here. Is that like a... Is that a bag to put on someone's head? And it's like a, a scarecrow fit or something? Who are you talking to, bud? His eyes are closed. Oh, I can talk to him. Please leave me alone. Oh, shit. My bad, dude. My bad. What about... I'm gonna talk to this guy. How you doing, bud? You look a little lost. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just tired. This place has some great coffee if you're in the mood for one. As you can see, I usually go for vanilla latte. So where are you headed? Starting my new job at a nearby state park? That's none of your business. You know what? I'm the one that struck up the convo. I might as well... Ah, that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed. Well, what do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. Do you like your job? Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. That's impressive. Yeah, I guess so. I can be a bit of a roller coaster sometimes, but I don't hate what I do. All right. Later, dude. Good combo. Can I talk to this guy now? I can. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> How's the food? How's the food? Do you mind if I join you? A pretty long day at work, huh? You know what? Do you mind if I join you? He just stared at me. Okay, let's try again. Uh, how's the food? He also, he just stared at me. Okay, bud, one more question for you. Pretty long day at work, huh? You just stared at me. Okay, bud, I have a feeling you're up to no good, so let me talk to this guy over here. How you doing, bud? Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer at Iron Center. Just down the road. No, I'm not gonna... I'm just down the road. Dot, dot, dot. All right, dude. See you later. What about this guy? Okay, I think I've talked to everybody. Let me have a seat back in my spot now that I've disturbed the entire fucking restaurant. You really are Canadian. You talk to everyone. I'm just... I, I'm living vicariously through the game. Like, I would never do that in real life. I don't even like making eye contact in public with people. I just put my head down and carry about... Oh, hey, Barb. Thank Barb. Can I get some napkins, Barb? Look at this meatball sub and chicken nuggets, dude. What are the sauces here? Some honey mustard, maybe? Some ketchup, maybe a little bit of ranch? Let's go, let's crush these nuggets first. I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. All right, now let's get the meatball sub. Kayla, frig off, I've got a Coke to drink. Well, I guess I, you know. So, so did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating, this is so good. I can't send... Mm, okay. Oh, I accidentally took a screenshot, I think. Oh, Kayla, I just closed my phone. Told you, hee hee. This food reminds me. You should send that... You should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. I'm eating a meatball sub and chicken nuggets, and I'm thinking about casserole. Wow, yes, I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit? Mmm. Okay, 
it's a fuck shit. Let's drink the coke. Oh, delicious. I, you know what? Do, I don't recommend. Oh, where's this guy going? I don't recommend chugging a coke that fast. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Well, you don't even give me the option. I would like dessert. Okay, I will be right back. Thanks. Pretty prompt with the check, eh? Here's the check. Your total is $6. Pay $6. Pay $6.15% tip. Pay $6.50% tip. Now, although I do like to pride myself on my tipping, I think I tip pretty well, having worked in the service industry for a long time, I will not tip 50%. Okay? That's insane. This, unless this is the best meatball sub and fucking nuggets I've ever had in my life. You can have 15. Hope you enjoy the rest of your ride. Nuggets and a meatball sub for $6. Actually, yeah, talk about that. $6 for a meatball sub and chicken nuggets? That's fucking cheap. Oh, wait. <laughs> that is the Oh, wait, wait, yeah. You know what, Mrs. Uno, when you... Wait, wait. When you put 50%, a 50% tip on a $6 order, it is only $3. I didn't consider that. I... I just assumed that was going to be a $30 meal. Hey, shovel guy is gone. Okay. Uh, so is it... Wait, 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 hold on. So is it true? I, I picked different dialogue this time. So is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids there the other day? What? Possibly. We can't say. What? I need to go. Dude, what happened to the kids? Oh, hey, thanks, Barb. Please take a seat. I'll be right with you. Isn't it pretty quite in here quite yeah it's been like that for a while now ever since the highway bypassed this town things have been pretty slow that's a shame seems like a nice place it used to be but times change i suppose all right see you later barb have a good day sorry i tipped you so shit <laughs> i tipped her so shit oh i left the music going that's good yeah what is 15 percent of six dollars like maybe like a dollar fifty or something breath close the door I tipped her 90 cents. Is that what you... I almost want to go have another meal. But you know what? I'll probably never eat at this fucking place again. So see you later. One time, we had dinner in Niagara Falls with some people. Found out later on that they didn't tip. And I lived in Hamilton. And me and Tori drove all the way back to Niagara Falls and tipped that person. It's like a fucking 40 minute drive. So you know what? I think I should get a pass on this one. I want to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. I'm all over the road. Pretty creepy spot, actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I drove past the trail at first. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, no, no. A little five-point turn here. Right. Look at all these. Sanita Williams, Hugh Jasmine, Britney Spears. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Britney Spears. <laughs> Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. You scared me, fucker. May Lord have mercy. Billy needs a different voice. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. You're Billy, right? Dot, dot, dot. I'm new to the transferred fire lookout. I was told to report here. What for? I'm, I'm the new transferred fire lookout staffer. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hired in the season. Hang on, let me check on that. You'd think somebody would have let him know. 
Like, fuck, man. Oh, God, that was quick. Okay, pal, you're good. You, you're, you're, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Thanks, Billy. Let me open the trail gate for you. Do you think I could drive my RV down here? Oh, never mind. He just opened one gate. You lazy prick. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safe. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Let me just throw this at him. Oh. Da, da, da. Hey, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. Y you got it, bud. Here, let me, sorry, let me pick this up. Let me pick this up. Have a good night, Billy. Okay. This should be fine. Foot trail. No bikes, only horses stay on the trail. This is my kind of trail. Fuck the bikes. Get them off here. I left my bag in the RV at first. For f so goddamn forgetful. Hey! Did I not close this? Well, I don't want to drive, actually. I was just going to maybe shut off the music, but you know what? Let's keep it going. 11.32 p.m. It was a long hike, and it was starting to get cold now. Tower 11. Closest tower, Tower 11. 155.2. Iron Park Tower 11 this way. Lacy Trail this way. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. You're right. It, it would not be for everyone. Ooh, a porter potty? But I've always been fond. I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. I little, take a little pee there. Hey, Kaiser Goat. Thank you for following, bud. I, I was curious the logistics of taking a piss with a bag and a flashlight in my hand. It's a lot of stairs, bud. What's over here? Oh. Hey, home sweet home, bud. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me the sense of comfort. Forgot to turn the generator on at first. You're going to make me walk all the way. I got, oh, fuck, nothing will work. For Christ's sake, I got to go to the generator. Toss a bag. Boom. There we go. Beautiful. What's this? Is this bug spray? Okay. All right. Let's go to the computer. Ooh. Rainbow. Multicolor. Did you? Da, ba, da, da. Starting Rainbow 98. Uh, check the iron bark rules flyer. Radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. Okay. I got to look for the flyer. Binoculars. 
Osborne Firefinder. It's like a giant compass the size of a pizza. It's a pretty big pizza. I need the flyer. Oh, system password is Ironbark. Tower number. Thank you. Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. How can I make your day better? If you could send me a real life meatball sub and chicken nuggets with a large coat, I would love it. Cause that's what I'm thinking about now. Clickety click, here's a random fact for you. Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain, continues to grow about a quarter of an inch, 0 .0, 0 0.6 centimeters taller, each year due to tectonic plate movements. Whoa! Surprise, you found me. How can okay? I'm done. I don't need to. That's that's enough facts for today. Employee training. Welcome to Iron Bark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Iron Bark Fire Department. Is that Jack Septicai? You have been selected as one of our fire lookout observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time. So also keep watch for smoke. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require That's us the to know all down. changes in temperature. Wasn't it? I think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. Well, the and remember, the tower is very if crooked. you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Okay, that was a lot of information. So use the the anemometer. Use the anemometer for the wind. Smoke, fire. Uh, yes, NASA. I heard all those. Plague EXE. A game. Oh my God. The sound, dude. Oh. The board said no video games. Did it really? <laughs> all right. Service reporting. Iron bar. Temperature. Welcome to the state of the art reporting service software developer. Who is this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. I thought I was going to be alone out here. You're never alone in these woods. I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Thank you. So what is it? What? Your name? Oh, it's Jack. Jack Nelson. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Uh, I am... Looking for a change, Connor. Oh, done. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? N no. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Okay. That was weird. Why is he watching me? I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Brother, I I I just stood up. Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Yeah, I I okay, but I I need wood. Connor was on the radio line. Yeah, yeah, but like I'm trying to. There we go. I got it lit, bud. It's a beautiful fire we got going on here. 
Is he still on this fucking radio? No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Oh, there isn't. Marley? Who's Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. Okay. She was one gritty woman. What happened to her, Connor? Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Okay. Uh, so you mean like wood? That he's probably over there, yeah? Oh, I should have took my flashlight. Yeah, I forgot. Oh. Oh, there's a flashlight here, too. My hands were full. I guess, you know what? We could carry a bag and a flashlight, but you know what? The wood is probably pretty heavy. Alrighty. Boom. Boom. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. That, that ought to do it. That ought to... <laughs> that ought to light up. Oh, wait, nope. This is perfect. Man. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. That's good. Uh, thank you, Connor, for paying it, paying so much attention to me. Oh, okay. The dot 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 is. Nice to see Tower Eleven alive again. Oh, I, okay. Did you report for the night yet? I. What? You're throwing a lot of information at me, bud. Did you report for the night yet? Did you? No, let me. You better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Oh, okay. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Okay, uh, lights out after 12, supply drops in your summer, absolutely no guess to look out, system pass order, no video games in the system, oh, yeah, I already failed. Remember to call your sister station before, I thought I said remember to call your sister before you sleep. Okay, so, the wind. Seventeen knots! Aye, we are seventeen knots with the wind. Seventeen. Temperature. Okay. Now get the temp. There it is. Forty-four point two. Can you fuck off, Smiley? Weather condition. Oh my God! There's so many. What the fuck? Misty. Let me let me just do a quick little. Is it misty? Yeah, it does look a little misty, you know? So what if I do misty? Okay, cloudy. No, okay. Uh, It seems like we've got... It, it's... You know what? It's clear. You copy, new guy? Oh. Uh, Tower 11 copy. I think I'm going to sign off for the day. Thanks. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Uh, that, My name's Jack. Okay. Uh, over and out. Yeah, let's go to sleep. I would trust Connor with my life if I were you. <laughs> uh, unintelligible. Unintelligible. It's still unintelligible. Oh, shit. So groggy. Oh, I did forget to turn off the lights. Static. Oh, I had to pee. Connor? No? I guess I must pee. Wait, space to pee? I saw that. <laughs> Being left alone. <laughs> Let's take a little whiz off the deck here. They're off the balcony. Alright. There we go. Alright. Woo! Hey, who's that? Who the fuck's that? 
Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? I saw him! I saw him! He's moving! There he is. It's Bigfoot. Alright. Back to my slumber. You know what? The game has realism. You know? Getting up in the middle of the night to take a piss? Absolutely. It's just you, the wind, and the time melts away. Look at this cup of joe. Look at that. Or is it a cappuccino? Nothing like steaming hot coffee. Oh, uh, left must want to take a photo of the stairs. Oh, okay. Mm, beautiful. Like a Bob Ross painting. There we go. Beautiful. I still have coffee in this cup, apparently. All right. What a day. What a beautiful day. You guys, you copy? Connor, can I just have my fucking coffee? This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Yeah, I, I do. I, I copy. I copy the Roger. Now right here. Boom. I, I copy that, Connor. What's Son up? Son of a bitch. What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Oh, that's pieces of shit. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Uh, let me have a, let me have a quick little look-see, bud. What's north? Right there. Oh, for Christ's sake. I fucking see it. I need you to confirm. I, Do you see that smoke up north? I... Yeah, but I fucking saw it. You spot that white smoke up north? It appears to be in the Lacey Trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Mm. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Mm. Fire risks are high this season. Mm -hmm. Am I checking it out? Do you have any detail? Okay, heading north all appropriate. Is it safe? Oh, I would have forgot the bear spray. I'm glad I asked the question. Do you have any other detail? No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lacey Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Stay safe out there. Okay. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Over and out. Okay. Bear spray. Boom. I don't think we need anything else. So we just gotta head this way. Okay, Lacey Trail is this way. Okay, we got it. Because I carried my bags and the flashlight in, right? But it wouldn't let me pick up the compass, but... Caution, bear in area. Eight thirty-seven p.m. And now it's nighttime! And I don't have my flashlight! I thought I'd be fine. I was having coffee two minutes... I love Jen. No camping. She gives the best head. <laughs> and then is that three hanging people? Incredible. Okay. All right, I'm here. I'm looking for Jen. Oh, oh my! Oh my God! Jesus! Oh my God! What is happening? Jack, are you okay? Hope everything's okay. Reply back when you see this. I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector has very good service. And then beautiful pictures of the link. Yeah. View from my tower. And thanks for the recipe. I might try it tonight. Did she actually send it to me? Oh, she did. Is someone whistling? My hands are full. I had to get water to put it out. Oh, right here.
the fuck was that? Emergency closure, trail obstructed. Who's there? Da, 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 da. Show yourself. He stopped whistling. The area beyond that site was closed. Let's head back. We'll have a nice cup of something hot and sweet. Oh my god, we gotta go. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. It's weird that we don't lock this was I had to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Okay. Connor. Hold on. Hold on. Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? You were cooking yourself some hot what? Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? I heard a scream. I'm just gonna tell him everything at this point. What the fuck? Like, what? Like, yeah. A scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It was a manly scream, though. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. About a month ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with campers? Well. Okay, I okay. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. Well, that's unsettling. You guy, I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Uh, absolutely not. It's a nervous fart. I can't tolerate these goons anymore. These goons? If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Yeah, fucking right, Con. You know what, Connor? You, you get me all fired up. Keep me updated, please. Will do. Over and out. Oh, yeah. Over and out, bud. Over and out. All right, hold on. What fucking time is it? Oh, five or four minutes after nine. It's too, it's too early to go to bed. Because I think... Oh, oh, Kayla. Forgot about you. Oh, oh, look at that casserole. Let's go. I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got home to. Mmm. Pizza pasta bake. Yeah, I got all that. Is this an actual recipe? Oh, this is, actually sounds delicious. But we, we figured out earlier in the stream that marinara sauce might be fucking me up with the heartburn. We think it might be marinara. Mom made me the same casserole recipe today. Nom, nom, hee, hee. Looking at that photo makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Oh, wait, am I gonna... Am, are we gonna cook? Let's cook, bud. I'm, I'm all for it. Macaroni. Okay. Let's, that. let's get a let's get a little uh let's get a pot of water going bud or this is the casserole here at this point i was starving okay well let's put the macaroni in there it's uncooked pasta well, what else is it kayla sorry marinara sauce pepperoni mozzarella diced tomatoes i i just have a bunch of cans of salmon it looks it just looks like various different kinds of salmon and sardines where 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 do I get the uh, where do I get the marinara? You know what? I might just have to make this up with some some sardines or salmon. 
I had a feeling it was still missing something. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're missing lots of things. Maybe in here? Oh! Boom, marinara. Boom, look at that. Give me the mozzarella. Where's some mozzarella cheese? That's burr. That's not mozzarella. Mozzarella. Oh my God, Don Bernardo mozzarella. Incredible. Now we need diced tomatoes. Are they in the fridge as well? Oh, pepperoni. Fuck yeah, let's go, bud. Uh, it looks like beef or pork. Let me get rid of that. Sliced ham, don't need that. That looks like steak, don't need that. Baked beans, don't need that. Don't need baked beans again. What's this? Diced tomatoes. Boom, I think that's everything. Yeah, let's go pop this in the oven. Boom. Let's close that up. New guy. Oh. You there? Yes, Connor. New guy. You copy? Yes, I copy. Over. What is it? Uh, just reported their ass to the authorities. Yeah, way to go, Connor. What'd they say? Don't worry. Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. Okay, that's relieving. Hope they can track them down and get them peace of mind. Hey, Connor, I got a question for you, bud. Do you even know my name? We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. Okay. Okay. Speaking That's the duty I chose. I don't see your name here. Because I'm a star. Did you for the night yet? I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. That's fucking exactly right. I was just getting, you know, I was just getting to it, bud. You better get to it. Mitch didn't sound to me in a very good mood today. Okay, you got it. Tell you what. I think I'm going to hit the sack now. Yeah, it sounds like you need it, bud. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you. Thank you, Connor. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. Okay, so temperature is 46.9. We're sitting at 19 knots. 46.9, 19 knots. Nineteen. Uh, I don't think we assisted any hikers, did we? And it's reported by uh, Jack. What are the conditions out here? This is cloudy, no? That's cloudy to me. Liz, I was wondering that too. Does putting out the fire count as assisting? I don't know. You know what? Let's let's just say. You know what? We'll say it is. I think that's. I think we'll just say it is. I did assist. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, you're absolutely right, Benny. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a wee bit on edge. You know. <laughs> think the food is done? You think it's burning in there, bud? I gotta get this uh, fire started, though. You know. It's super screwy. We get the fire going. Or Connor, Connor. We know Connor's watching me. He was yawning and pretending to fucking go to sleep, but we know he's got his binoculars out. Beautiful. Perfect. There we go. I just remember the smell of the fresh sizzling cheese. This game is trying to make me hungry. I liked eating in bed. Yeah, absolutely. Let's let's eat in bed. Let's shut the lights off while we're at it, bud. Actually, wait, no, no. I'm gonna eat this whole. Yo. Nothing like eating an entire pan of food in bed, right? Are you gonna shit over the railing too? I mean, this was, I could have kept it in the refrigerator. I mean, I suppose. Do we have room in here, bud? Actually, yeah. Now that I took all this other shit out, I guess I do have room. Can I throw this back in? Did the fire get going? I, I did that already. Oh, is it because I did it too early? Were we thinking too far ahead? Not enough gas, maybe? Yeah, 
Yeah, we're ahead of the game. There we go. What's up, old man? All right, buddy. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta act quick. Time to go to bed. I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. Close the boards. Oh. What are the boards? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. All of a sudden, I hate this. I don't like being able to see around the corner. I, not being able to see around the corner, rather. All right, time to go to bed. Is the fire still alive? Uh, wait, did I miss a board? I thought I... I closed all the boards already. Did I not? Did I, did I not get the side at all? Oh. Wait, I could have sworn I got these already. I totally did. Okay. Now, can, we, can I go to sleep now? Oh, thank God. 2.27 a.m. Oh, it's time for a piss again. I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. No! You almost got me. Okay, who the hell is this? This looks like Satan. Hey! 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 Prick! There was something very strange about that night. Yeah, the, the weird person outside? Oh my god! Oh my god! What happened? Okay, so now we're just back here. Okay. What if I just... What if I just call it in? Okay, I'm gonna call it in. I'm gonna call it in. Call it in! Shit! Come on, bud. Come on. Come on. I have pizza casserole if you're interested. Look. to make of it at the moment. Yeah, what the fuck is that? The only logical thing I can think of was to contact Connor. Connor! No. I need to talk to your surgeon. Hello? Have any idea what time it is? No, Connor. There's something outside my door. I don't think these are, these are the kids messing around. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. They watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. This is serious. You don't understand, do you? Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. Why won't you call me by my name? All right. Here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. What about right now? night Connor Connor didn't make any sense that's because he's the fucking guy he's the fucking guy I'm gonna sleep with my bear spray night three next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream Connor tried to reason it was <laughs> Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids.
but there's not something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. We just missed a whole day. Okay. Oh. God, my, can I clean these things? I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance or, or by scanning the densities of all the trees around me. Oh, I gotta actually... Whoa, a flare! A flare! Interesting. You know what? I know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the flare. Hello? Oh my God! Is anyone there? I need help. Please. Oh, what happened? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. Uh, what's going on? I, I don't even know where to start. I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. Oh shit. Must have been the wind. I think... I think I'm lost. Can you describe your clothing? What is your current location? He doesn't know. What equipment do you have with you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. Okay. I'm wearing a red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. Uh, okay. I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Okay. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's yeah, attention, I but saw it. no one's come yet. I saw it. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. What direction are you facing? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. What is it? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, left! <laughs> I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. I hear you. I hear your whistles. What? What? I see you behind the trees to my right. You're freaking me out. Oh, this is Billy. <laughs> Holy moly. What took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? <laughs> I was assisting a lost hiker, just finishing up in the port. Uh, nothing much. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm gonna pass out if I keep holding this for more than one second. <laughs> okay. Fucking settle down, Billy. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bob, cats, and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here, bud. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Just getting used to the new environment. Mention the skull. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tell him. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? No, I didn't think about it. There was too much on my mind. Dot, dot, dot. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's great. It's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies, bud. 
Have a good day. Maybe I can make another fucking macaroni casserole. Uh, let's drop this uh, here. Boom. Beautiful. That was heavy box. Uh, Let's do our reports. 58.2. We're sitting at 27 knots. Twenty-seven. I assisted one hiker. Uh it looks a little misty, I would say. There. I wasn't sure if I put the right weather condition. Well, I'm glad you keep telling me when I'm wrong. It's clear. Cloudy? With a chance of meatball sub? No. Uh windy oh, it's very windy actually. What am I talking about? Twenty seven nits. Okay, perfect. We're good, bud. All right, we've we've reported 8:34 p.m. I'm getting my reports done earlier every day. I'm gonna fucking close these ahead of time. I'm gonna save some time here. I'm taking the bear spray. It was very effective with Billy at the front door. All right, there we go. All right, we're good. I was too hungry. For fuck's sakes, make up your goddamn mind. Does that PC have any games on it? Actually, yeah, sure, I'll show you. Even though it is against it is against the rules. It says we're not allowed to play games, but there is one. Cat. I beat my previous score of 35 with 45. All right, let's heat some uh should we pop this back in or what no maybe not maybe we'll just sit here and eat it the food was cold oh for fuck's sake you picky bastard here hold on i liked eating in bed Mm. Okay, let's go throw this in here. There. Dishes done. Okay, so on. Let me uh, let me go get some wood. All right, let's go. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. He looks like the guy from the fucking diner. Thought I'd say hi, the new guy everyone's been talking about. So do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reached the right places, wouldn't you agree? Right, we rely on information about the fire sightings. I agree, fire risks are high this season. Like, what the fuck do I know? I just started. We rely on information. Yeah, absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. What the fuck do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. What? And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. I should head back to the tower now. It's getting late. I'll see you around. Silas? Why is it? Did he say his name was Silas? Did I miss that part? Because I was too scared. I should head back. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well. But remember. Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Where's he going? I can't follow him that way. I can't follow him that way. I want to follow him that way, but I can't follow him that way.
Okay, there we go. Oh, shit. I, I keep fucking up the steps here. Let's get some gasoline in here. That should... That should cover it. That should cover it there. I don't date that, you know? Beautiful. Now we got that nice... Oh. smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. Uh, wh wh but what are you talking about? I'm, I'm, I literally just lit the fire. New guy. My name's Jack. You there? Connor, for fuck's sakes, you got to give me more than a second to answer you. Just give me anxiety. You got me now. Uh, this is Jack. <sighs> Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Uh, well, I ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? The guy maintaining the nearby radio tower. What do you mean, dot, dot, dot? Is this about yesterday? Wh what do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? I'm not... I don't want to yank anything of yours. That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. Uh, uh. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. Do your name. You think he's been listening? Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information, or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Okay, me too. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. So I can go to bed now. I wonder if I should have hid. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself it was just a change of environment that I need to get used to. There was literally a dude in like some sort of fucking cult outfit outside my door. And he set up a whole little fucking ritual thing. Oh, you can't just tell yourself that this is, I just need to get used to this. The strangest I'd seen so far in the woods was not enough to cause any alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Oh, God. Two nights later. 9.18 p.m. Oh, but, but uh, I always do my reports around 8-something. You guy, you got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Mitch wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Okay. No more snoopers, I guess. Snoopers? How do I update the computer? Oh, no, I just have to... Okay, what's it about? Well, they say they've optimized the reporting software. Improved the communication system. And some much-needed security patches. Okay. If you ask, it all looks the same to my eyes. I know how to update the computer. Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology, it's not really my thing. Okay, Connor. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. Uh-huh. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Thanks. I just gotta go in uh, here, right? Update the update package code. Oh, I don't think that's it. Did it tell me? Or oh, actually, here, here. Let's actually do. Uh, let's say help. Checks for available system eight update. Three updates found. Filtering. Oh, it's literally right here. Four three four six zero eight four. Serviceable lines, please enter an active line. Uh let's go one zero four five. Or wait, is there a different Oh, I was hit. Maybe hold on. Uh, 
I was hitting enter on the number pad, but I guess that doesn't work that way. What is happening? Did I update the microwave? What was that? You know what? I'm taking this. Oh, it's pissing rain. Can we not take an umbrella? Whoa. Those trees are moving a lot. I ran out of gas. Okay, so I can carry two items if one of them is the flashlight. I really had to pee before going back up? What do you mean, dude? Should have peed here. Last time I just peed off the, the balcony. <laughs> he could just let me do that. One week later, time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check on in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 a.m. We got another one. Another what, Connor? I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack? I need you to wake up. You copy? Oh, fuck. What is it? Do you know... This is... I, I want to answer the phone and be like, Do you know what time it is? Just like he did to me. You know what time it is, old guy? Jack, you copy. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. Seeing what? I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. Oh, fuck. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. Let me have a fucking look. Oh no, I don't, or can I? Okay, I can use these both. What? You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. I'm the... If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. Okay. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. Okay. So wait. What should I take? Was oh, that it right there? Oh. Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Oh! <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh no!
I'm not convinced they're gone. I'm not convinced. I had to make a run. Uh... Huh? Oh! Shit! 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 Oh shit. Where am I running to? Huh? Oh, what is happening? No, no, bud. The dog's coming at my hands at like the worst time possible. Shit. But thank you so much for everything. Adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in the alert to HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels very vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven... For illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon. Please be safe.
Let's go. Let's go. We did it. Didn't kill one woman. I'm looking forward to the fifth one already. That was that was great. That was great. 